Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now June 26th of 2021, and ever since the very end of the Skywalker Saga and when The Mandalorian Season 2 came to a close, a lot of fans have really been very skeptical and excited at the same exact time of what John and Dave are brewing for the Star Wars franchise moving ahead. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Also, make sure to check me out at Mike01 on Twitter if you would like to. Now, when we go ahead and take a look at what's been going on behind the scenes, we do know that John and Dave are doing everything in their power to really bring back Star Wars Legends. A lot of Legends content is making its way back into the Star Wars universe under the Disney canon material, which, by the way, some people, you know, are very much afraid whether or not John and Dave are going to be able to pull that off. I am actually very optimistic about what they're about to do with Star Wars Legends. Now, given that the Bad Batch Episode 9 was a pretty big hit, a lot of people love that episode and are really excited of what's to come for Episodes 10 through 16, because the rest of the Bad Batch episodes are really going to have more and more revelations that's going to have a major impact on the prequels and, yes, even the original trilogy. So, when we go ahead and see what Jon Favreau is actually planning right now for the future of Star Wars, he has a lot under his sleeve. He has a lot of tricks that he's actually going to give the fans of what's to come for the Star Wars franchise and what he really ultimately wants to do with Dave Filoni as his partner. So right now there's a lot of things happening between himself, Kathleen Kennedy, and others over at Lucasfilm that are working on the new TV shows that are set to be announced by this fall. So this fall, November to December, it's going to be a very big moment in Star Wars because it's going to give the fans a vivid view of the new roadmap of the franchise. So with that being said, with both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni actively creating a new Star Wars universe for the entire fandom, it's best described that currently the Disney CEO Bob Chapek is working closely with Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni in order to fulfill the Star Wars brand to become more successful than ever before. Now, on top of this, it's described that currently Jon Favreau just made a very big decision with Star Wars that's going to take fans by surprise for future projects. It's noted that just recently Jon Favreau hired actor Mark Hamill to portray Luke Skywalker in a brand new upcoming Star Wars project that is set to be a way for Jon Favreau to illustrate a middle-aged version of Luke that they have yet to have seen. This would be a younger version of Luke Skywalker in comparison to the sequel trilogy movies, however older than how he is portrayed in The Mandalorian. It's described that Jon Favreau has big plans to use Mark Hamill to portray an older version of Luke for a major scene being planned for The Mandalorian Season 3 that is said to tap into the worlds between worlds that is going to hold connections and teases for the Ahsoka Tano series with Rosario Dawson. This is said to involve a version of Luke that will have a brand new design by Jon Favreau and that Mark Hamill recently signed on for The Mandalorian Season 3 to star in the World Between Worlds sequence. Ahsoka Tano is said to enter the realm in the third season of The Mandalorian to create a major tease of what's to come for the Ahsoka series on Disney+. This comes just after both John and Dave recently signed on for other new projects that will be announced by this fall by Bob Chapek during either November or December. Now, on top of all of this as well, John and Dave are also preparing to unveil new TV shows in November. So, these new TV shows that are being worked on, obviously a lot of fans are very much amped up for this, very excited about them. The Mandalorian Season 3 is going to be quite an experience. The best way to describe the show is that it's going to have a far different format or tone, if you will, in comparison to The Mandalorian Season 2. So season three is going to be a different ball game. It's going to be a different, you know, project in itself. It's going to have a different feel or tone by John Favreau. I want to actually touch on Favreau's major plan here of bringing back Mark Hamill into the mix. Now we obviously know that Mark Hamill said this before in the past that he has no intentions to come back into Star Wars, but never say never. He said, and it seems as though that. John Favreau convinced Mark to come back for a major sequence for the Worlds Between Worlds in The Mandalorian Season 3. 
Even Dave Filoni talked about season three saying that the force is gonna be strong with this season. And that pretty much was a major indicator that it's gonna dive more into aspects of the force and the Jedi and the mythology of Star Wars. So that's one major reason to be excited about the future of the franchise and exactly where it's going. The other thing is this, is that we also know that everything related to Mark Hamill is that he actually wants to portray Luke Skywalker time and time again in a proper and more reasonable way for the fandom to enjoy. Mark Hamill never really got that chance in the sequel trilogy movies. Unfortunately, you know, he was very much mistreated by Kathleen Kennedy. You know, he didn't really get the chance to really act the way that he wanted to act as Luke in the sequel trilogy movies. So for Jon Favreau to hire Mark Hamill for this major sequence in The Mandalorian Season 3 is somewhat of a flash forward from what it sounds like. Almost like, you know, what we saw in the Worlds Between Worlds episode where you have all these different portals, all these different windows, if you will, looking at the different realities. It's a very interesting scenario, and though we don't have full details on exactly how this is going to be done, it sounds more and more like that some character like Ahsoka Tano is going to see some aspect of the future involving Luke Skywalker. We do know that the Ahsoka Tano series is going to reset some aspects of the sequel trilogy movies, so that's one way to go about looking at this. Now, the thing about Jon Favreau is that he cares about the fans. This is a guy that really cares about the Star Wars fandom. This is a guy that really wants to make things right with the Star Wars fans. In order to make things right, he wants to drag in a lot of Star Wars lore. He wants to bring back many of the beloved cast members, such as Mark Hamill, into The Mandalorian Season 3. Now granted, a young Luke is also going to be in the third season. That's of course not to say that the older version of Luke is not going to be significant. This particular scene that Mark Hamill is going to be acting in is best described to be crucial to of course how the future Star Wars TV shows are going to be done. And that's a very interesting thing, to say the least. The fact that, you know, Jon Favreau is trying to really change history when it comes to Star Wars. I think that this could very well be a risky scenario for some fans out there. Some fans may think that, you know, Mark Hamill coming back may make Disney look a little bit desperate. But I don't think so. I think that this is a very interesting step, a very necessary step for Jon Favreau to give Mark Hamill another chance to become Luke in the flesh, not a forest ghost, but Luke in the flesh in a very unique way within the world between worlds. So like I've said before, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.